Kids, I'm so glad you're here for this week's Kids Quest. This unit, we're studying Jesus' final days before he went to the cross. And so far, we've seen a day where many people praised him and another day where people tried to trick him. And today, we're going to learn about the last meal he shared with some of his friends. But first, let's look at our Bible verse for this unit. I hope you've been practicing! Oh, Carol, the choir director, it's a... Uh... Great to see you. I know it is, isn't it, darling? <laughs> now, I've been thinking about your poor performance last time I was here. Uh, my poor performance? I, I thought I did pretty well. Oh, you did. Oh. Well, dear, we must expect more from ourselves, mustn't we? <laughs> I guess. Never fear. I believe your problem last time was that you didn't properly warm up your voice. So this time, we're going to do a few vocal exercises oh. before we begin. Follow my lead. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Okay, okay, here we go again. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Okay, better. Now here we go. Let's loosen up the lips. Okay, here we go. Uh, open your mouth widely, chin down, and once you go, oh! Ah! All right, well, I, I think that's as good as it's going to get. I believe, I believe you might have it this time. Here we go. Now, sing along with me, okay? Oh, dear. Okay. He humbled, he humbled himself, himself by becoming, by becoming obedient. To the point of death. Get down there, sing it with death. conviction. Death. Good. Death. Even, to death. Even to death. On a cross. On a cross. Let me 
Philippians 2 8. Philippians 2 8. Oh, oh my. Wow. Um, thank you, Carol. Uh, how, how'd I do? I can't say it was better, oh. and I can't say it was worse. Oh. <laughs> Either way, just remember that Jesus obeyed his Father, and he loved you so much that he died for you. Even if you can't sing his verse the way that he'd like, it's okay. Oh. It's okay. So, what happens next? Well, we usually worship next. Oh, wonderful! I'll get us started, okay? Oh, Here we go. No. One, two, three. Oh. Your ways are higher than all my oh. ways. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. That's, uh, Carol, that is not necessary. Um, hey, uh, go ahead and start the worship video, please. to remind you of. Are you ready? Yes! Okay, so here's the first one. Elves! Reminds me of elves! Um, uh, uh, okay, well, not. Oh, well, okay, not quite. So, uh, let's try this one next. Okay. Uh, elephants! They have a trunk that goes like that! What? Okay, uh, no! No! Okay, not where I was heading with that, but let's let's try another one. Um. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, but, crayons with tails. What, Miss Courtney? That's not even a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Uh, okay. What's next? Uh. Okay. Surely this one will help. Okay. <gasps> oh, unicorns. Uh. Well, I mean, okay, but. But where would you one. use this kind of unicorn? Well, couldn't ride it, I'll tell you that much. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, well, okay, here's last try. What, what do these remind you of? Read them closely. Oh, 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 I get it! Frisbees! No! Oh, Miss Courtney, okay. Look at all of these 
things together. What are they all reminding you of? A birthday party, right? Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, now that I see them all together. Sure. sure. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay, well, just like how all of this stuff should remind you of a birthday party, when Jesus ate with his disciples, his 12 closest followers for the last time, he actually gave them some things that they could use to remember what he was about to do for them. So how about this? Let's watch our Bible story video and find out more. Okay, but for the record, I think a party with elves, elephants, crayons with tails, unicorns and frisbees would be pretty fun. Oh dear. Jesus and his disciples were in Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. Long ago, God delivered his people from slavery in Egypt. He sent 10 plagues to Egypt. And during the 10th plague, the firstborn of the Egyptians died. The Israelites smeared the blood of a lamb on their doorpost and God kept them safe. He passed over their houses. God said that once a year, the Israelites should celebrate the Passover to remember how he rescued them. He told his people when and how to celebrate. On the day when the Jewish people were supposed to kill the Passover lamb, Jesus sent Peter and John to get the meal ready. He said, go into the city and you will meet a man carrying a jug of water. Follow him. Jesus said that the man would go to a house and the homeowner would show Peter and John a large room upstairs with furniture in it. That was the place Jesus wanted them to get the Passover meal ready. So Peter and John did as Jesus said. When the Passover meal was ready, Jesus and his disciples reclined to eat. Jesus said, truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples were upset, but Jesus knew this was part of God's plan. Peter said he would never betray Jesus, but Jesus said Peter would deny him three times. Then Jesus took the bread, gave thanks to God for it, broke it, and then gave it to his disciples to eat. Jesus said, this is my body, which I am giving for you. Do this to remember me. Jesus took the cup and gave it to his disciples. They drank from it. And Jesus said, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many. They sang a hymn together, and then they went out to the Mount of Olives. Jesus knew he would be arrested and would suffer. Then he would die on the cross to take the punishment for the sins of the world. On the third day, Jesus would rise from the dead. The New Covenant says that everyone who turns away from sin and trust in Jesus' death and resurrection will be forgiven of his sins and will have eternal life. So, just like we remember birthdays, Jesus wanted us to remember his death? Yes. Isn't that interesting? We do a great job celebrating Jesus' birth at Christmas, but what he really asks for us to do is remember his death because it paid for our sins. And we're supposed to remember it with the Lord's Supper, right? That's exactly right. Just like seeing this hat and these plates should have reminded you of birthdays, seeing the bread and the cup should remind you of what Jesus did for us. We call it the Lord's Supper because Jesus is our Lord and he did this at his last supper with the disciples. Okay, that makes sense. So let me see if I'm getting this right. The bread represents Jesus' body. Yes, it reminds us that Jesus' body was beaten and he was killed to take the punishment for our sins. And the cup represents his blood? Right. It reminds us that Jesus shed his blood for us. He is our perfect sacrifice. Okay, so let me ask you a question. If I eat the bread and drink the drink, will it make me a Christian? Well, let me ask you a question. If you put on this hat and I sing happy birthday to you, does it make it your birthday? I wish, but no, I don't, I don't think it works like that. Exactly. Just like wearing this hat won't make it your birthday, taking the Lord's Supper won't make you a Christian. 
We take the Lord's Supper when we are believers, not to become believers. Gotcha. Wow, I've learned so much about the Lord's Supper today. Well, I'm so glad, Miss Cordy. Let's pray and ask God to help us remember what Jesus did for us. Not just when we do the Lord's Supper, but all the time. Let's, Sounds good. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to live a perfect life so we could read about it in your word, the Bible, and then for taking the punishment for all of our sin, for all of the things that we do, and when he died on the cross for us. God, help us to remember that Jesus is our Lord every single day and to be thankful for his sacrifice. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for learning about the Lord's Supper with us. Go over the discussion questions with your family and we'll see you next week. Can we go find a cake to put these candles in? Well, I mean, I don't know where we would find one. We could make one. I've got some great ideas. Let's go. Oh, brother, here we go. Ha 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 no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be hard to get through. I even knew it was coming. Ha 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop thinking about how I'm gonna have to do it. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I really can't do that.